FES comms team. Um, it's great to be on this panel with such interesting research. Um, so I'm a PhD candidate in communication studies at McGill University. Um, and I'm joining you today um, from the island known as uh, Montreal in English and French, Jojage in Ganyingeha and Muniang in Anishinaabemowin. I'd like to recognize the Ganyingehaga um, people as the hosts and caretakers of these lands and waters, which have long served as a meeting site for nations, for ma many nations, including um, the Ganyingehaga of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Huron-Wendat, um, Abenaki, and Anishinaabe. So in my brief five minutes today, I'll introduce a research project that I'm collaborating on with Dr. Darren Barney entitled Energy Media, the Politics of Solid Phase Bitumen, um, which is funded by the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council of Canada. So I'll begin by briefly outlining the object of our research, um, which is emerging formats for the um, processing and transportation of solid phase bitumen. Um, I'll then describe our qualitative humanities-based approach to studying these developments. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, so as many of you here today may be aware, in 2017, three Canadian firms unveiled completing formats for processing and transporting bitumen in a solid form. The first that you can see here um, is the Canadian National Railways Canapux, whereby bitumen is coated with a polymer shell that seals it into water-resistant, buoyant, and nonstick pucks. The second, shown here, um, was developed at the University of Calgary by Professor Ian Gates um, and is now marketed as solidium. So these solidium pellets um, in, are made by separating the lighter ends and using pressure to seal the more viscous remainder with a polymerized membrane that encases it in this pellet. Um, the third method um, is uh, called bit crude, which is formed by heating diluted bitumen, removing diluent, and allowing the liquefied bitumen to cool and solidify for transport. Um, so bit crude, which used to be um, associated with Malayas energy, but is no longer, is now focused on scaling a technique whereby um, heated liquid bitumen is poured directly into shipping containers where it cools for transport as a solid um, to be heated for reliquification and dispensation um, at its destination markets. So in these various solid um, formats, bitumen, whether in a puck, pellet, or a solidified mass, can be poured into containers, trucks, rail cars, or ships um, to be transported across terrestrial and marine environments in relatively safe ways. And so for this reason, um, solid phase bitumen formats have been presented as a kind of technical solution to the various environmental and political hazards involved in the transportation of liquid oil. So the transportation of bitumen is obviously a high stakes political issue across the political spectrum in Canada and beyond. Um, and thus for us, techniques for processing and transporting bitumen in the solid form constitute a significant material interventions into the politics of Canada's resource economy and environmental politics more generally. So our project is a qualitative study involving documentary research, site visits, media analysis, and interviews with engineers, entrepreneurs, and other stakeholders that examines the political, economic, and environmental implications of these innovations. So through these um, qualitative humanities-based methods, um, we're interested in tracking how changes in the material techniques of containing and transporting bituminous oil have effects on the complex relationships between industry, government, and diverse publics that kind of uh, surround this contested resource. And so what emerges as particularly important to highlight here is that for us, these material techniques are the site of politics and they are the site of our analysis. So though we are communication studies scholars, um, we're not just interested in how solid bitumen is represented um, in media or how its qualities and effects um, are communicated to various publics. What are project is primarily um, tracking is how changes in the material form of oil and the kinds of infrastructures, standards, markets, and arrangements of power these material forms involve um, have kind of political implications in and of themselves. Thank you.